One of the features of Oracle Active Data Guard is FarSync. Let's see together what it is. When you have a primary database and you protect it with data guard, you have a standby database. And if you want a zero data loss strategy, uh, you need to have a synchronous transport between the primary and the standby database. Now, the problem with synchronous transport is that uh, it adds some latency to your transactions and depending on your application, the performance impact might be negligible or not. And in many cases, uh, companies decide to switch to asynchronous redo transport not to have the impact of synchronous replication but that does not give the guarantee of a zero data loss so the best solution is to have a nearby standby database where the primary can send the redo synchronously to achieve zero data loss and in many cases that also requires a standby database also on the secondary side that provides similar protection for the standby database when it becomes a primary database. This is the best architecture and it's the recommendation of our maximum availability architecture team. Uh, but for many companies this is uh, not affordable because it requires twice the compute because any database in the configuration requires the same amount of power to sustain the same workload as the primary database, but also twice the storage, because instead of you know, having two copies of our database, we have four copies of our database. And this is especially problematic if you have multi terabyte databases, but also it requires twice the licenses. And this might be uh, unaffordable for some companies. So in that case, those companies, instead of having a primary database sending the data directly to the standby database, they can have a farsing key instance and have the primary database sending the data synchronously there. And the farsing key instance will relay the information asynchronously to uh, the standby database. Now, farsing instance is a special type of instance. It's not a database, so it doesn't have any data files and it does not recover any data files. So it does not require the same uh, uh, compute and uh, storage amount as a, a normal database, but especially it does not require any additional licenses. So as far as all the databases in your configuration are covered by the Active Data Guard option, you can create as many FarSync instances as you, as you want. Even on external servers, uh, they don't need any additional license for that. So all they need is a, a fast network with high throughput the fast network because you don't want to add any latency for your synchronous transaction and also fast disks because uh, farsing instances still have the standby redo logs and you don't want to have any additional delay required to sync the data uh, to uh, the standby redo log disks uh, Farsync instance has other advantages. Uh, for example, it has the automatic fetch. If you want to fail over uh, your workload from the primary database to the standby database, if the primary database is not available anymore, the standby database can fetch the last information from the Farsync instance to achieve a zero uh, data loss failover. Uh, now, similarly to a standby database, uh, you will also require a FarSync instance that protects synchronously uh, the standby database when you switch over your workload from the primary to the secondary site. And we recommend to put the FarSync instance close enough to have low latency that does not impact your application performance, but distant enough not to suffer from uh, the same outage uh, as the primary database. For example, you can have a nearby data center or a nearby uh, server room, or if you don't have additional data center, you can just put it in a different availability zone so that you lower um, the possibility of having the same outage for the primary and the farsync instance. And if you need high availability for the farsync instance, you can. You can have multiple farsync instances protecting the same primary database. So if uh, one farsync instance is not available, the primary database can switch the redo destination to an alternate 
first sync instance and keep working with the full synchronous protection because all the transactions are protected synchronously to at least one first sync instance. Um, so in the end, uh, FarSync instance can provide increased performance for existing uh, synchronous configuration, increased protection for existing asynchronous configurations, and overall it provides zero data loss across any distance.